Hello and welcome to Quainton Road at the Buckingham Railway Centre. This is a brand new series, we're going to be covering overhaul of Great Western Pannier 7715 or L99 issues later known in London Transport and Livery. We'll be trying something new, putting the actual engineering on YouTube. Um, it's going to be quite an interesting journey for the, um, the team and hopefully you guys as well. Uh, we might do some little, um, little mini lectures on how bits of steam engines actually work as well because they're full of simple, elegant technology. So hopefully you might be interested in that. We'll, we'll see where it goes basically. Um, anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. My name's Ian, I'm the project leader for the overhaul and uh, it's probably about time you met the loco. She's been dismantled already, or ha well, partly dismantled already. Boilers out, as you can see. Um, we've been doing various bits and pieces. I've got some footage of taking, um, taking what we've taken off off. There's a lot to do. It's a heavy overhaul bordering on restoration in places. If you're not, um, if you're not familiar with steam engines, yes, it's rusty. That's just a thing. We've got mechanicals to do. The, the wheels will come out the frames. They'll go off to be sent to have the, uh, the tyres reprofiled. Um, there's, they're not too bad. There's plenty of meat on them, but in places the profile isn't right, so they need to go off to be turned as part of the overhaul. We've got various bits of cab sheeting to deal with um, rust and deterioration. These are essentially consumable parts. You can see here, you see that, that bubbling. The rivets have held the plate in place against the, um, the angle iron, but <laughs> the rust bubbles up underneath and you get that buckling. So there's not that, that plate left. As you can see, there's, there's holes here and there where there shouldn't be holes. So we'll be literally renewing the whole bunker. Um, thankfully, I believe we can get the pressings for the corner pieces, because they're not easy to make. The rest of it's fairly simple sheet. Let's hop up in the cab quickly, such as it is. As you can see, there's not that much left without a boiler. We're gonna have a look at the motion in a minute. That's all just about ready to come off. We'll have a look inside the bunker quickly. As you can see, it's a bit of a state. Coal dust, sadly, mixed with water is quite corrosive. So no matter what you do, it's going to rust eventually and need replacing. So there we are. We've got a lot of rivets to burn out. We'll hopefully show you some of that. Um, we'll also show the, um, the fabrication of the plate work as well. Let's go hop over and have a quick look at the motion. Because you don't normally get a very good view of this with boiler in. There we go. Most of the, the bolts, the lock nuts and such like have been slackened off, the split pins are out and that's all ready to come off. We'll go through in, um, in later videos in detail what these bits are, what they actually do and how it all works. Right, let's go and have a quick look at the boiler. Walk this way. There she is. In a bit of a state but nothing particularly unusual for a, a boiler. somewhere you're familiar with. There we go, the firehole door there. You can see the foundation rings exposed here because the outside steel sheet's been removed. Inside is copper here. Um, the copper I think is fine, it might need a, a bit of fettling here and there. The foundation ring I need, believe needs a, a bit of work. The back steel sheet there will need replacement so that'll be fun, that's a contractor job. Not sure who yet, but it'll go out somewhere and we'll hopefully get some footage of that. Let's just hop up and see what we can see in here. Take you up the front of the smoke box. There's the tanks over there. We'll have a look at them in a second. And here we go, another job. So all of the tubes need replacing. We'll probably do that on site. It'll be quite interesting. We'll get the camera on that because it's uh, it's quite a quite an operation replacing all of those. The the tube plate that they sit in also needs replacing, I believe. So I think we'll be doing that too. There are the tanks. 
thankfully these are in pretty good condition they need a, a really good shot blast and repaint but they're fundamentally sound so that could happen while a lot of other stuff is uh, is going on so there you are you met the project hopefully you'll get to meet the team next time i'll be uploading more footage soon so don't forget to hit the subscribe button for updates We'll have an Instagram page up soon as well, so I'll link that in the description shortly. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the tour. See you next time. Now uh, he comes. Give it a wiggle. Give it a Off he comes. <laughs> Uh, it's never easy. All right, get set up and give it a give it a tap, and then I'll go in and I'll try and get some footage of it. Actually, sure. it will. Out it comes. That's it. One more. Hey! Oh,